So I've been communicating with Siglent about this power supply to give them feedback about a few little things I found with it. Little, you know, quirks in the user interface. I suppose you could say bugs, really, in a way. There was that bug there with the decimal places for the, at 10 volts. And there's also a thing which I don't think I showed when you're in parallel mode, which is what I'm in now. The current limit was not actually correct. It was actually doing 300 milliamps more, regardless of what your settings were. You've got the balancing between these two channels and the way these two channels here work together to provide the power because of their control loop scheme for that. But I have improved it. So this is what I'm going to cover in this video. There's a few things I've done which I've found already. So if I go into the menu here, go and upgrade, I think it's still on there. So the firmware version is 4.12.8 R2T1. Now I'm not sure if T1 is like a special version of sent me or whether it's going to be just R2 later on, I don't know. But this is the version they sent me to do a bit of a look at and to see how it's going and to see if they've addressed things which I can remember as being things I wanted to see improved. So the other thing is the LAN interface here. They've changed this a little bit now. Before, when you put in the numbers in for the various addresses, it was a bit cumbersome because you had to do two button pushes, whereas now you don't have to do that anymore. Um, so if I come over here, 192 for example, put in 192, and now you can enter, it goes to the next box, and you can do the next bit. All right. So that is much, much better now. Right, that's one of the things I raised, so to address that issue. So to fix this cursor issue here, so when you had 10 volts before, exactly 10 volts, the cursor would shift over, you'd be correcting the wrong digit. So to fix that little bug, so that's sorted out now. And the thing with the current, which I'm going to demonstrate now. So before, I've got a set of 5 amps, and I've got to set to my electronic load. So we're using that, I'll get 5.3 amps in this setting, right? So I'm going to turn the electronic load on. I've currently got a set of 4.9 amps, which you can see here, and the current limiting set of 5 amps. So when I wind this up a little bit more, I'm going to do 5.1 amps, and see so we get exactly 5 amps here, 5.01 amps, so it's great. And you can see the balance between the two is much closer now. So this is providing 2.4 one eight amps was that's two point five eight two. So they've got the same scheme where there's an imbalance between the two because of the way they had to do control loop, but they've closed that gap up a lot more. So now they've also improved the accuracy. So now it's limiting the five amps and it's actually doing five amps. So they fix that. That's brilliant. So that is something which I thought was quite important. And also in my previous videos, I didn't actually mention this, but so I'm plug one of those for safety. Turn that back off. Go serious mode. I didn't actually mention this before, but when you're in serious mode you're getting effectively a split supply. So if I just hook up and do one channel here like this, that's doing 20 volts right now. If I turn it on, there I'm measuring 10 volts in my electronic load. Those terminals there, we've got 10 volts. These terminals there, we've got 10 volts. 